panic, take my hands off the wheel and scream. So my friend reaches over and gets the car. Ain't no way, ain't no way. This is I Crashed My Best Friend's Car by Yo Yo. Say hi to YouTube because we about to we gonna upload this if it's a banger, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, let's get into it, man. It's only like five minutes, so let's let's see what yo yo got in store for us. He uh I'm I'm waiting on him to get that new tel uh tablet. Well he did get the new tablet, but I'm waiting on him to drop some content, but let's get it. Bam! It's the side of the bridge. It's windy. I'm screaming. He's struggling to fix the car. And then I see sparks on the right side of the window. We are scraping the side of the bridge. <laughs> so this story took place maybe about like two to three summers ago. I was visiting my hometown of sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy Charleston, South Carolina. The weather is... Wait, this nigga Yo-Yo from Charleston? Say swear to God. Say you swear. I did not know Yo-Yo was from Charleston. That's crazy. Me and me, honestly, if he's from Charleston, me and him probably crossed paths at one point. I lived in Charleston for like six years of my life. I lived in Charleston for six years of my life. From, from 10th grade up until, no, I lived in Charleston for five and a half years. Yo, these fucking fireworks, bro. Y'all hear this shit? That's crazy. Well, maybe, maybe we cross paths one day. I'll, I wanna meet Yo-Yo though, he's cool peoples. Pretty broken there. I'm chilling in the hotel and then one of my good homies hits my phone around 8 p.m. Yo, 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 I know you in town. You trying to link? We should go somewhere. And I'm like, say less. Soon after he pulls up. Also, he drives this minivan thing. I'm not a car person, so I don't know exactly what it is. Unfortunately, this information will be necessary later on in this story. He picks me up, we go get something to eat, we skip rocks, chop it up for a bit. Nothing but straight up vibes. We go, facts. Calm, and the night sky was tranquil. And then out of nowhere, it just starts to rain. Bro, this is Charleston Heavily, for real. Bro, just whoosh. <laughs> Was that a rain sound effect? It starts to rain because South Carolina weather. So we decided to wrap yep. it up and head home. So he's driving me back and to get to the lake we went to, we had to drive across the Cooper River Bridge, which is this huge bridge that goes over. Bro, we dead ass had to cross paths at, at one point. I used to drive past this bridge every time to get to fucking work. That's, yo, that's crazy. You never really know, like, who you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just never know. Crazy how, like, I, I'm reacting to man's videos. He's making content out here doing big shit. We might have crossed paths, like, before. That shit is wild. That shit is wild. The, the, the Cooper River, duh, are you paying attention? So he's driving back, and I'm like, let me drive the car. I ask him if I can drive the car home. Let me drive the car. Drive, but I'm, I'm trying to learn. It's around 10 p.m. and they're like, no cars on the road. So yeah, I figured, you know, now would be a great time to practice. Why did I think that driving on a 250 foot tall bridge with a fast speed limit in the rain was a good idea? I don't, I, I Slip don't know. I don't make good decisions. So my friend pulls over, we switch seats and boom, I'm driving the whip and it's smooth sailing, like literally just a straight shot. The problem is near the peak of the bridge, it's like really high above the ground. And remember that storm? Well, now we're like a hundred feet closer to it. So it's mad windy, but it's normal for people to drive on the bridge and have to slightly steer their car in the opposite direction of the wind. So the wind doesn't oh, yeah. push the that car, wind now, especially no. if the car you're driving is tall. At the time, I didn't know that. So I'm driving and since it's windy, the car starts to 
steer to the right and before i start to flip oh, it's a little windy bro just turn the wheel a bit when that happens he reaches over and steers the car for me so we drive for a bit more and then a gust of wind hits the car and i'm like huh, i was prepared for this i casually grab the wheel and i swerve the car to the left man i completely overestimated the power of the wind bro the car just jerks to the left dude what are you doing don't turn that much go to the right and this this is where my friend messed up i get that i'm about to drive your car off a bridge but you don't need to yell at me okay i'm nervous i don't do good <laughs> under pressure hey johannes i don't want to bother you but it would behoove the both of us if you slightly turn the car to the right see how much better that was so oh my god rudely let me know that i'm about to kill the both of us i freak out and swerve to the right but now we're turning in the direction of the strong wind while 250 feet in the air yo yo go left go left and with all of these commands in my ear all of this wind all of this pressure i do what any sane human being would do if the car that they were driving on a 250 foot bridge was out of control in the rain you stop the car i panic take my hands off the wheel and scream so my friend reaches over and gets the car ain't no way ain't no way Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, ain't no way. Ain't no way you did this, dog. This, this. <laughs> Yo, nigga took his hand off the wheel. <laughs> bro, oh my god. Oh my god, bro. And the thing is, the thing is, this reminds me of when I tried to teach my sister how to drive, bro. This shit isn't, it's not, when you're driving with somebody you don't know how to drive, you're already on 10. And when they fuck up, it's like, bro, I don't ever want you driving my shit again. I don't even want ever be in the car with you again. Like, bro. Are kind of straight, but bam, hits the side of the bridge. It's windy. I'm screaming. He's struggling to fix the car. And then I see sparks on the right side of the window we are scraping the side of the bridge and i realize why no. i never took my foot off the pedal if anything the stress is making me step harder so my friend's like dude just stop the car i slam on the brake but inertia so we swerve to the left but after violently spinning the car stops he gets out and doesn't say a word i do the same we switch spots and he takes me home. I'd like to say I didn't mess up his car, but like, I refuse to believe that there was no damage. But at the same time, he, he never said anything about the damage and I've talked to him since, like he's a homie, he's probably gonna watch this. But in order to help my conscience, I'm just gonna assume that the car is totally fine. And if not, well, he's technically the one that swerved to the left. All right, so- Ain't shit. Yo, yo, you ain't shit, fam. Yo, yo, you ain't shit, G. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, ain't shit, bro. 